All right, so let's look at this. What we're going to do is play around with um, dynamics. Okay, and there's lots of ways to do this. There's many, many, many different ways to actually shoot a bullet out of the scene. But I like using a dynamic force because it's just it's just fun. That's all there is to it. So veritable bullet. So this is now going to say, hey, oops, this needs to go here. There we go. Get rid of that. Veritable bullet. So when the fire button is pushed, it's going to say, okay, there's a bullet. And the bullet is called Enunciate. No, it's not really. And I always have to look up the spelling of this stupid thing. R-A-T-E. Yay, got it right because the orange is there. Initiate. Inst initiate. Okay. It should just make make copy of because that's what it really means. In initiate make copy of. Okay. So what is it going to make a copy of? Well, it's going to make a copy of character bullet. Okay. Which is up here at the top. And that's what it's what it is. It's that uh, bullet that we made that prefab. And then after it makes a copy of it, it's going to go in and declare it a game object. By finding something, it's going to have to find where it's going to come out of. Well, it's going to come from uh, the gun spawn. And since I called it gun spawn by actually writing it in here, I have to put it in quotes. Okay, then after it gets that, it's going to go in and transform its position corresponding to the gun spawn. And you're like, God, I just wanted to shoot something. Transform period position. Okay, now, here's the, the weird one. Uh, Quanterion. Period identity. And I know you want me to explain what Quanterion really is. But that wouldn't be fun. So I'm going to have you look that one up. Okay, and there we go. I got this whole thing is just to make the bullet. <laughs> it's not even to fire the bullet. It's just to make the bullet. Okay, so I'm going to move this over and try to fit all this in here. There we go. And I think it's just because I got the screen a little bit squashed. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay, now that I made the bullet, let's make the bullet go. So after it's made, it's going to be called bullet because I named it bullet up here. So now it gets its own little world. Bullet is going to be a rigid body. And that that means that you would have to actually assign it a rigid body like we did because I'm going to use the add force. Now, that's what's fun about it, really. You can assign it a transform to move positive, positively in Z axis or whatever axis that might be, but really, it's nothing like launching a potato out of a potato gun, right? Because there's unpredictability that happens at that point. And we all know that shooting a potato at 2,000 would be fun. 
but let's say we launch it at 20,000. There we go. So let's see what happens now. Let's file save and see if we have any errors. Okay, forward is not a member of the Unity Transform. Okay, yep, I should have looked. I should have seen that 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 was not orange, was been bad. Okay, so save that out. Wow, not bad. Okay, it's seen it has a hard time with fire one. What's fire one? Okay, so. And I think it's having a hard time with fire one is because there's a get button, a get key, which is a keyboard. And what I'm doing is getting a button. So this is a thing up here is get button down. And that's what I get for copying and pasting, really. So get button down would be the ones that handle the mouse buttons. All right, it looks pretty good. And there we go, it's shooting. But now look at it, it's not really, it's shooting in this space, but it's not following the gun. Okay, very easy. So what it's looking at is here's my gun spawn, but what's it in reference to? Well, it should be in reference to the gun swivel, right? So gun swivel, it moves, that should move. So that means I tie it to gun swivel by clicking and driving, dragging it down. And now when I rotate, it shoot, should shoot bullets out. This should be pretty interesting. So it doesn't have a whole lot of energy and it seems to be only shooting uh, with the gravity pointing in one direction. So in the next video, let's try to look at why that is.